I'm back. It's been literally like a week and a half. I haven't had the vlog camera. I lost the charger. I had to go on Amazon and order a new one. I've been super busy launching Founders, but I'm back. So let's get the Founders and get to work. Ooh. All right, off to Founders. On my way in, I'm gonna call some of the members that are part of Founders, all the members that become a yearly member to Founders. I personally give them a call every day, mentor them, talk to them about what they're, what they're working on, give them advice, and uh, just understand their pain points, specifically about business development, personal development, or influencer development. Let's get it. For at least a few more years, um, and then possibly moving back to uh, Move back to Chicago. So what's up, fam? Got my vlog camera going. Say what's up, what's up? You out here? Jade, what's up? Gucci. FedEx. Yeah. What up? What up? Who you got in here? We got uh, Pascal. Pascal, what's was good? I remember, I remember Pascal from, uh, I don't know how long ago it was. Dude, it was about, finding this guy was the process. I mean, <laughs> I went to Greg Una. I dropped my business proposal in the Manhattan District. I emailed Ryan Holiday. Then I spoke to another guy you had an interview with. He's like, um, he's a young life coach. I forgot his name. And he told me about founders and I came here a year ago to meet you. And if it wasn't for you telling me the structure of how to do my deal, I, I actually even um, applied for the 10K pitch. Obviously I didn't get it, it's fine, it's life. But um, if you didn't tell me how to restructure my deal, I would not be this far in the process of trying to get this this capital to make this happen. So yeah. I'm very appreciative of Gerard and everything he's done, man. Thank you, bro. This is the vlog intro to this vlog. In the in the making, though, from Mike Ritchie. In the making. Day two. Sky to Founders. Another day. Woo! Good bitch. Nice. I just had a call this morning with the founders of Thinking Grow Rich that they end up getting the exclusive license and are now doing a movie called The Thinking Grow Rich Legacy that's going to be coming out this uh, fall winter. They have a premiere that's happening in October, just around the corner, and they asked me, in between the premiere and the movie coming out, to be a host for the Thinking Grow Rich Live that's gonna be uh, all going on, it's an event, be about 350 seats, extremely exclusive, all prior to the movie coming out. I'm really, really excited. My bro Lewis House is actually in the movie, and my boy Joel Brown will be co-hosting with me and uh, doing the live event. I mean, Thinking Grow Rich, the book, that's definitely one of my top five books of all time. My father gave me that book when I was really young, kind of helped me, breed me as a leader. And those principles are principles you need to implement into your life. Uh, so I'm excited to be a part of this and I'm working on getting a partnership with Think and Grow Rich, you know, for founders. They plan on taking this around the world. I'm excited to, to partner it up with our nonprofit side, you know, because those are the principles that we want to teach the youth here in Newark and in inner cities around the country, as well as like get Think and Grow Rich on our platform, all those leaders sharing with us on the platform. So super excited. Next up, I got a meeting with Cody Ross, one of our entrepreneurs and founders that graduated from Slingshot VR. I'll get to that in a sec. Who just got here, my man Cody Ross. What up, what up? It's good to be back, it's home. <laughs> yeah. See, he's got some news. Yeah. Is it, is it confidential yeah. news? Oh yeah, it's super confidential. All right, it's all right. Too confidential. Okay, all right, all right. All right. See how like those are just like cardboard walls, but like. So how you feeling, Arian? Good, as always. Ex executing? Always, bro. <laughs> Hi, bro. I looked at this weekend. Yeah, hey, what up? So many social features coming to the platform. It's gonna be amazing. Sick. Uh, Got a new visitor here. I found this guys. Check it out. Designer the snake. Crazy. Ooh. It's crazy. <laughs> And then my homies here, Raph. I've known Raph forever, guys. Please don't touch my Raph. Please don't touch my Raph. Please don't touch my Raph. Local from Newark. One of the best in the world. What up? So check it out. We're about to go live. I'm with the squad. Squad. <laughs> and uh, we're about to shoot with my boy Raph. 
Please don't touch my rap. So it's been like 10 years that I've known rap. Please don't touch my rap. So proud of him, dude. Like I've seen him grow so much. I met him when he was young, still in college. He came to my office through one of my business associates. We started mentoring Raf, teaching him a little bit more about our business and agency doing digital marketing. And then literally from him educating himself, surrounding himself with other mentors, and just straight out having the guts to just try as much as he could and learn as much as he could through Google, he became one of the most sought after young marketers learning how to create leads through not just Google, really, Google, Bing, Yahoo, like really just understanding pay-per-click and lead gen, um, email marketing. He's here today at Founders. We're about to get into a whole course, how he did 12 million in 12 months using these tactics on creating lead gen. You know, he's had up years, down years. It doesn't mean you're gonna make $12 million in a year. It just, that was his best year. So we're gonna get into his strategy on how to do this within any industry, how to create leads for your business, for your brand. I'm excited. Let's get to it. Join Founders. If you're not a founder, we're gonna keep this coming. Hey, are you excited or what? So guys, we're, uh, as you guys know, Founders is a social enterprise, so we do a lot of social impact initiatives. Today we are gonna be feeding the homeless, working with the homeless here in Newark. I'm super excited. So, uh, Monica, you should vlog this. Are you down? Take the baton. Yeah! <laughs> We've got the vlog. <laughs> Not every shelter provides showers every day. We're actually one of the few shelters that provide shelter um, showers every day. We have clothing that people donate as well as um, other clothing that we provide here. We provide meals seven days a week for men, women, and children for lunch and dinner. Um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for our guests that stay in the building. So that's anyone overnight, emergency, last on um, couple. We're fortunate to have Jeff, who some of you all met before, who went through our program. Anthony, Jared, what do you think? Ready to serve some good food? I'm ready, I'm ready to serve some good vibes, social impact. That was an impact. That was an impact. You're gonna die. We're out here getting ready. Serve some food. Gotta wash our hands. Mitch, how's it coming? Good. I just gotta get my hair net. Oh my gosh. So nice. oh, much better. <laughs> here we go. Ready? Yeah. How many? Three Guys, what's up? We just finished off making everything like it looked before. Like we're never here. Hey, how do you feel? Pretty good. Good? Okay, yes, it provides more of a 